Hello everybody, this is Mutt and I am going to be trying to show you how to set up your desktop and EC to get the most viewable area. This is the first part in a continuing series of enhanced client tutorials. I'll be using my character macro tutorial to demonstrate how to set this up. At the end, I'm going to give instructions on how to export a macro file in order to make a template so that you can import it and rename it for whatever character you create. So you only have to really do this once. It'll make setup and you can starting a new character much quicker for you. One of the first windows you get is which set of user settings would you like to use. Please make sure you always check enhanced clients default settings. Use enhanced client default settings, a lot of the options available in enhanced client will not show or function. Click OK. Tip of the day I click do not show next time. There are some very useful uh, tips here. So if you haven't gone through them all, I suggest that you use the next button to read them, read through them, and you might learn something. Click close. The town crier gives you updates. I always click X, click and do not show this again because I rarely get anything good out of it. So now we have our desktop. You'll notice that it's centered, that when your start bar is up, you can't even see this, which is your main menu function. And the icons, the paper doll and everything, are really big. And it's not really arranged in any order. So first what I do is I get everything up to where I can see it. Then I'm going to click Escape. User Settings. Oddly, even though this is a graphic thing we want to set up, we have to go to Options first. You scroll down. And while we're here, we're going to turn on some basics. We're going to turn on Block War on Pets, Block War on Party, and if you're not going to be PvP, Block War on Friendly. Underneath that is the interface option. We're going to use custom DI UI default. It is possible to use uh, Pinkos or other UIs created by custom users. I prefer not to use them at this point, and uh, if you like it, go ahead. The UI scale. The UI scale is defaulted at 1.0. If you change it to 0.8, it will shrink everything on the screen. You can see here that the tip of the day is disabled. We want to keep Windows Snap enabled. I like having the pop-up window for party options. It allows me to uh, see it easily instead of having to look at my journal. And detailed hotbar tips. Uh, I prefer because it gives me some information when I forget. Click apply. And you can see how much more room we have. First thing I do is I set up take this blank bar and I take it down and measure it to the edge of the screen and put it so that it's not going to be occluded by the start bar if it's up. That's the bottom row. I usually do three rows up and then all the way across. Normally, I like to put this in the first row so that I always have it open on the left. I use the left side and the far right side to for system commands that aren't, aren't directly involved in operating my character. Right-click, New 
hot bar. We want it to be 12 across. We're only going to do one. So we just type in 12, click Submit, get a new hot bar, and you drag it over and dock it with this one, and then dock it here. This gives you your row of three. I'm going to use the center area as my hot key area. I'm going to have probably one or two rows here. You can rotate these by clicking on them. Now, for myself, I prefer to have all the system stuff over here to the far right. So I set up my area. And I like to have my map right here. This way I can train my eyes to always go to the same area and find, pick up the information I need. We're going to work now on getting this area set up to be take up less room and be more usable for us. First with the map, you click here on the arrow, drag it over, make it a little bit bigger. On the chat window you have system and journal. I usually keep it on system because it gives me updates in combat. I use journal when I'm uh, talking to people or monitoring what's going on in chat. And we'll go over that how to change those channels here in a bit. I put I always leave this on because it gives me a visible cue of whether I'm in combat or not. And it is defaulted to the W key to toggle war mode on and off. Knowledge of your buffs, which is green, and debuffs, which are red, is essential, so I keep those right next to my paper doll. Now you might notice that the paper doll is pretty bulky. So we're going to use actions. We're going to click here and it gives you a drop down menu. This is much faster than hitting arrows left or right trying to find what you're looking for. And we're going to go to other. The first action from other that we're going to use is toggle scale mode. Now toggle scale mode is a little buggy and it can cause your system to crash. So what I suggest is after you scale everything and after we're done with the setup we're going to exit which saves the desktop and then we're going to re-enter and have everything set for us. That way if we do crash we won't lose all of our work. When you toggle this in the system going to say scale mode enabled. Now, by hovering over our cursor over a gump, we can scroll up or down to change the scale. I like to make it of a usable size where I can still see everything, but I don't need it so big that it takes up a huge amount of area. Now we can work on our bag. Close actions. Hit escape. Go to user settings. Click on containers. I keep this as the default of the grid so I can see where everything is at and everything's not in a jumble. Keeps it nice and organized. One thing you'll notice is that this whole gump becomes a clickable area. You'll notice that I can move the gump all the way over here. Well, that area right there is a useless area. If you uncheck Enable Grid Legacy Containers, click Apply, the area that was then 
active but do, not doing us any good, now it becomes useful. You can see a lot more. We can scale this either by using the scale mode enabled, zoom, and we can change how this is arranged. I like to keep it again so that all the information is included when the start bar pops up. Click OK. Now we're going to take our screen, click in any corner, and drag it so it's lined up. Maximize your screen so you can get a good visual of the edge of the screen and the top. Grab the scale and drag it down. Now if I zoom out, you'll see how much more area we can see. It's one of the biggest advantages I've found at EC over Classic Client is the amount of viewable space. I can see more, therefore I can control more. Classic Client, things you cannot see can target you. An enhanced client, they can't, and that is very useful. So continuing our scale mode enable, we're going to scale down our hot bars. I usually do two. Not all of us have the same vision acuity, so do whatever fits you. Then you'll have to redock them. Now if I want to move the whole group, I click in the gray area and I hit shift. That moves, lets me move the whole group. So I can get just a little bit more north-south. Now we're going to add more hot bars. Click new hot bar. I'm going to put a row here of three. Twelve times three. Submit. Again, click on the gray area, hit shift, move the whole group down. Now we're going to use our scale mode enabled. Unfortunately, you can only do this individually. Dock the top one, this one, and then dock the others to it. I need two more here. So I'm going to right click, new hot bar, 12 times 2. Submit. One, two. One, two. Now we have that group. I'm going to add some more over here. Now this looks to be take this to measure. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That we can see in our area. We can shrink this a little bit. Pull it down and over. And that'll give us eight. Right click. New hot bar. Eight times three. Submit. Click, drag it down, scale it in. One cool feature, I'm going to move the backpack out of the way for a second, is if you decide at a future date that you want to scale these down even more to get more macro options available, you can pull this out all the way to 12, or you can shrink it to where you want it exactly. That way you don't have to worry about creating new hot bars after you've gone through all this work.
And now we have a functional desktop that is arranged conveniently for us. Pull this down so we get a little bit more area. Can make my map a little bit bigger. Pull it over a little bit so I have nothing including my viewable area. You can see I get a lot more function out of it. And that is the end of Macro Tutorial 1. Thank you very much for watching.